minutes away. We offer convenient options for you to get your parts quickly. Order online and pick up for free at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store. We'll even bring it on curbside. Or you can have your parts delivered right to your door. Free shipping on most orders over $35. Visit O'ReillyAuto.com.
weight Jeff. So Slay is off the hook because of no passing. No. But not Stafford for no run game oh. and a poor defense. Yeah, you're a twit. Um, fair text. Let me explain myself. Slay is off the hook for last year. Slay was the best thing about your defense. And in the mortal words of Doug Carter, who loves to say this about Matt Stafford, I like to blame the bad players, not the good players. Slay was your best player on defense. And it wasn't his fault that the pass rush was almost, if not, historically bad. You can't expect anyone. Deion Sanders could not have even done it to cover somebody for 10 seconds in the NFL. So if you go back and watch the film, I know people don't want to hear this, Darius did not have a bad season. His team let him down. His defense let him down. And you can't blame him for not wanting to be here, and you can't blame him for how poorly you think he played. So yeah, I'll stick up for Darius Slayer. As far as Stafford, Stafford played great last year All right, until he got hurt. What about the year before? He played off. And by the way, I'm talking about one year with Darius Slay. I'm talking about Stafford's entire career. What does he want here? Tell me. I'll hang up and listen. And then one more Blake and Royal Oak. What if everyone stopped ripping on Reaper? Oh, that'd be nice. Feel good. All right, let's go back to the phone. Sully, who we got? Yes, we have Vince and Sterling Heights. Hey, Vince. Vince, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, what if uh, Lions would have drafted Aaron Donald? Uh, Lake and Tomlinson, I believe it was. No, it was, uh, it was, uh, uh, Eric Eber. But, Eric Eber, that, yeah, yeah. That would have, uh, that would have been amazing. Yeah, I mean, listen, been way I, Absolutely. I don't think LeBron was awful. He didn't help himself by a lot of the things that he tweeted or said. But leave it to the Lions to draft the guy in the first round in the top ten and not pick up his fifth-year option when it would have cost them damn near nothing. Then he goes to the Colts and becomes a stud, right? So, I agree with you. I mean, Aaron Donald would not have only still been under contract here. Your defensive line wouldn't be so fast. Yeah, and and another thing is, one more before I go, is I think Taylor Decker was the boss, too. That's bad. Taylor, I mean, Taylor Decker was great. Until he got injured. And he's never been the same. I yeah. remember too. I remember he blew out his knee. He was, I think it was in OTAs. It wasn't even training camp. And it's funny because I think, again, I was filming in for Mike. And I was making a big deal about it. And people were calling up left and right and saying, shut up. It's OTAs. He's going to be fine. And yeah, he's never quite been the same guy. Yeah, he's not. Thank you. Let's go back to the phone. Sully, who we got? Uh, we, we're good on the phones right now. If anyone wants to grab a line, they'll please. But, you know, Jeff, I got, how about a Detroit sports one for you? What if Rashid Wallace and Robert Orr, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, here's another one. Uh, I got one, Sully. What if Joaquin Benoit doesn't serve up the meatball oh, to Big Poppy in 2013 in the ALCS? What about that? Or if Torrey Hunter makes that catch? I mean that was a, I know it would have been a, a hell of a, a hell of a catch, but but he Tory was right there for that. Like that would have been a that damn cop. I know. Damn cop. I mean Jeff, he was close to making that catch. I, I know listen, it was. I, agree with I know you. that would have been a, a very sensational you know catch all time. But but he had a chance to get that ball. I he was a great outfielder at that point. He was a little up in his career. He lost the step. But I, I would agree with you, a hundred percent. But, and this is very unpopular, Sully, but tell me if you agree, okay? Yeah. And then I'll unveil this list. I think the big thing about that series, as much of a blow as the Grand Slam was, that tied the game. They still could have won that game in extras. And then if you remember, I say this all the time, game three, Verlander pitched a complete game, gave up a solo shot to Mike Napoli, and they lost one nothing. That, to me, was the killer. Like, I think you're happy if you come back tied after a series in the meantime, right? But that, to me, was the killer. I mean, Jeff, do you realize that the Tigers had Justin Verlander, Max Scherzer, Anibal Sanchez, Rick Porcello, David Price, David Price 
Doug Fister, all on the same team together, and they never won a World Series. I still can't believe it. Anybody ever bring that up before? I feel that's a good tweet. Uh, all right. You want me to finish up this list? So, please. It is the NFL's 10 biggest what-ifs of the last 10 years. Number one, what if Chip Kelly got Marcus Mario? That's number one. Remember how good Chip Kelly's Eagles were that's in that first game one. on Monday Night Football? That's number one. Huh. Kind of a weak number one. Yeah, that is. Number two, what if the Jets drafted Russell Wilson? I think there's been some you've named later in the list that have been better than the draft what ifs. You can say that about virtually any team in the NFL. I, what if they agree? X, player X. Number three, Robert Griffin the third never got hurt. We did that one. Number four, what if the Eagles hired Ben McAdoo? Number five, this is the one you could not get. What if the Bears drafted Patrick Mahomes and Sean Watson? Number six was the Roby Colvin pass interference. What if it was actually called pass interference? Number seven, what if Miles Jack wasn't ruled down? Jags are in the Super Bowl. Number eight, this is, what if the Rams remained in St. Louis? Right. Number nine, what if Andy Reid went to the Cardinals? And then number 10, what if the world accepted Colin Kaepernick's movement from there? So there you go. The top 10 biggest what ifs of the last decade. Come back and I pitch you a topic that suddenly despises. But I think it's rather good. 97 level ticket. What else is good is Xfinity and their X1 platform, guys. The Xfinity X1 voice remote. I use it all the time at my house. It's one of those things where you don't think that you're going to use until you actually have it. Use it every single night. Microphone button, you say, hey, turn on ESPN. Right? Turn on Billions. Turn on Fox News. Whatever it is you're watching. Turn on the Golf Channel. It's going to do that. And Xfinity just is top-notch with all of their services. The X1 voice remote's great, but also the internet connection at my house. The Wi-Fi, you know, the, the speed, it's all really, really good. So go to www.xfinity.com and find their specials on there. They are running a ton of promotions right now. So if you're thinking about upgrading your internet, thinking about transferring your services, thinking about getting a new TV provider, certainly Xfinity Home Security, for any of their great services, now is actually a great time to do so with the specials that they're providing. That's www.xfinity.com. One more time, that's www.xfinity.com. 97.1 The Ticket. Traffic. From the WWJ AM 950 Traffic Center, this report brought to you by the Michigan Health and Hospital Association. 94 East County Catch you, left lane and shoulder is blocked by an accident. There's backups now from Connor. An earlier accident is still blocking the right lane of 75 North Bonnet with Nichols, as well as the exit ramp. And there's a minor crash on the right shoulder, 75 North Bonnet and 59. If you have Michigan Auto Insurance, big changes are coming to your medical coverage as of July 1st. Learn how to stay safe with full protection at driveprotected.org. Funded by the Michigan Health and Hospital Association. I'm Michelle Penny of Traffic. What if I told you you could sell your home for top dollar and not pay a single dime in commissions? Introducing Upraise Offers, the new app coming to your smartphone. With Upraise Offers, it's as simple as you point, you click, you praise. Simply enter the address of your home, tell us about your home improvements, snap a few photos, and within 24 hours, you will have a cash offer from a ready, willing, and able buyer that can close in just two weeks. Upraise, U-P-R-A-C-E. Upraise Offers, you point, you click, you Praise. I'm an emergency medical technician. I've been to the scene of a lot of vehicle crashes, and in nearly half of them, alcohol is involved. I've seen so many lives lost. Some of them were drunk drivers. Some were just people going about their day. Families on vacation, kids on their way home, a couple out to dinner. I do everything I can to keep them alive, but sometimes nothing helps. I can tell I'm losing them. All because someone left a bar or party and said, I'm okay to drive. Ask an EMT like me. We can tell you it's not okay. If you saw what first responders see every day, you'd never drink and drive. Police are cracking down on impaired drivers now, so drive sober or get pulled over. A message from the Michigan Office of Highway Safety Plan. It's the perfect time for a powerful business refresh during Dell Technologies Cyber Savings Event. It's 
starts now with up to 50% off high-performance Windows 10 business laptops, desktops, and servers, plus top brand electronics. It's also your chance to streamline IT and simplify PC life cycles with PC as a service. Dell Technologies recommends Windows 10 Pro for business. Call 877-ASK-DELL for a Dell Technologies advisor who can help you find the right tech. That's 877-ASK-DELL or visit dell.com slash smallbusinessdeals. A better tomorrow starts today with Wendy's Breakfast. A tomorrow that says they can, not they can't. Where fresh eggs rain like opportunity. Honey butter goodness is spread. And the frosty is Gino. At Wendy's, we don't ask what tomorrow holds. But rather, what will you hold tomorrow? Will it be the breakfast baconator or the honey butter chicken biscuit? No matter what you choose, tomorrow's looking good. Participate in West Wendy's. Paid for by Bank on Your Son. Spring football is a last resort. Now keep in mind, 